Here's one of the most important things to know from the endocrine chapter of the CSCS book. Following a resistance training session, specifically when you're lifting heavy weights greater than 80% of your one rep max with exercises like squats and deadlifts and other primary big muscle groups, we see a cascade of hormonal response in this order. First, we see testosterone release during and immediately after a workout. This is the most significant anabolic hormone, and it is not only anabolic for muscle protein synthesis, but it's also anti-catabolic, meaning that it inhibits muscle protein breakdown. Testosterone is also one of the hormones that has the broadest effect on a bunch of different systems, so it does impact the nervous system and how that responds to training as well. Following testosterone, we see a growth hormone response a little bit later, maybe an hour or two after the testosterone spike. And this is another anabolic hormone that promotes growth in muscle as well as tendons. And then lastly, four to six hours later, we see a spike in the last anabolic hormone, insulin-like growth factor one, which has a similar anabolic response to growth hormone. Follow for more training tips.